Good morning. We're at APOR with Stephen Blumberg from the National Center for Health Statistics, which is part of the Centers for Disease Control, who is going to be presenting some new findings on cell phones and Americans today. That's Stephen. Right. Just give, give us the highlights of what's new. Well, what's new is we've been, tra I should say, we've been tracking the prevalence of the wireless-only population since 2003, and we continue to see it steadily increasing. This time, we're using data from the last half of 2007, we see that 15.8% of households are wireless-only. So that's one in six. And I, I know from seeing the advanced copy of the report, or seeing the report released yesterday that there's another big percentage that while they have a wireless phone don't use it uh, very much. Can you tell us about that? That's correct. Starting in 2007, we added questions for uh, households that have both a landline and a cell phone to ask them how often they use or how often they receive calls on each of them. And we found that 13% of households have both a landline and a cell phone, but receive all or almost all calls on that cell phone. We call these the wireless mostly households. Now, what, what sense, I, I know that there was some change in the questionnaire the last quarter, so the, the chart that we will hopefully have right below this video on pollster.com will show a little bit of a change in the trend. Um, you had some speculation the last time. What is your sense of the ongoing trend in the growth of mobile-only households? You're right. When we released data six months ago, we started seeing what might have been a leveling off uh, in the growth in the wireless-only population. In fact, with the recent data, that number has kicked right back into the trend that we had seen before. So it was just a statistical anomaly, you might say. Um, we're seeing steady growth of about three percentage points every year in the uh, wireless-only population. So do the arithmetic for us. What is your sense? This data is from the latter half of 2007. Our audience is probably mostly interested in where things are right now and where they'll be in October. What is your, I mean, I know that's, that's speculation, but what's your sense of uh, the percentage then? Uh, my sense is that uh, by October of 2008, we'll probably be at about 20% wireless only for households, uh, one in five. Uh, and then we also have a significant number of these wireless, mostly households. We don't know how many of them can be captured in a landline survey. If that landline they have rings, will they answer it? But certainly some of them won't. Okay, last question. It comes up a lot. Why does the Center for Disease Control care so much about cell phones and whether Americans use them? Oh, well, that's a good question. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention conducts a number of large-scale telephone surveys nationally about adults and children's health. Surveys such as the Behavioral Risk Factor Surveillance Survey or the National Immunization Survey, immunizations of young kids. Um, these surveys currently are conducted only on landlines. So as a result, they're not reaching the wireless-only population. To the extent that the wireless-only population has different health characteristics than people with landlines, these surveys might be biased. Right. Those surveys that we are uh, interested in, whether it's about health or about politics. So for Mark Blumenthal and Pollster.com, thank you very much. You're welcome.